Welcome back to another episode of A Chronicle Life. Today I'm very excited, as always, to be making one of my favorite dishes, which could be considered a street food or just like a quick bite, but you can definitely make it like a dinner staple, which is what I'm doing today for me and um, old Mr. Leo over there. Uh, and I am talking about tostadas de carne molida, or if you don't speak Spanish, ground beef tostadas. Uh, tostadas are uh, deep fried tortilla uh, that turns out to be like very crispy and hard and you can t load it with uh, whatever toppings you want and um, it's delicious. So what I'm gonna do today is I, uh, I try to avoid a lot of the fried stuff even though like I have it when I want to indulge. But um, so today I have a favorite brand of tostadas from HEB and these uh, tostadas are delicious. They are dehydrated or like oven uh, baked or something like that. You still get the crispiness, you still get the flavor of the tostada, except you don't get all the grease. So if you're trying to uh, look on the healthier side of um, your diet, I guess, these would be a good option. I will link all of these products below um, so that you can check them out if you want to. But, um, so this is what I'm gonna put in my tostadas. I will put ground beef with uh, potatoes, because that's the best. And I will be using um, taco meat seasoning from Thrive Market. I will also link that seasoning below. Okay, so I will be topping the tostada first with a layer of refri refried black beans, and then the ground beef, and then I will be chopping up some lettuce, like really thinly shredded, delicious. I will be making some pico de gallo, uh, tomato, jalapenos, onion, cilantro, lime juice. I will be putting that on top and I have some pre-made salsa that I'm gonna still drizzle on top. I don't have anything ready. So stay tuned and you know what, let's get started. darling so there you have it that's all you need to do uh, to get all of your ingredients prepped before you load everything up onto your tostada um, so these are the tostadas I was telling you guys about and uh, this is the package that they come with um, that's what they're called so they're baked which is great like I said you get all the taste and also the health benefits so um, here we go I'm going to load it up with some uh, refried beans those are black beans 
Now I'm going to add some of our ground beef. We have that yummy shredded lettuce. I don't know why, but that's one of my favorite parts. Like I can load my tostadas with a ton of shredded lettuce because um, I just love the crunchiness of it. And then if you add some lemon on top, it's so delicious. So hi, Leo. So I actually like to add my lime or my lemon uh, on the lettuce before I add the pico de gallo. My mouth is watering, I'm so excited. Um, so I just did that and now I'm gonna add some pico on top. go so here we go um one ingredient i forgot to tell you guys about but it's a must is um queso fresco and i like to just like um crumble it so make it a little crumbly and then just add a little bit on top but don't be fooled <laughs> i have a ton down here on my plate it's one of my favorites um and just i'm gonna sprinkle on top a little bit of this uh, guacamole salsa from this company. I will link it below. I was really excited to try it. I didn't know it was gonna be this spicy though. It's it's actually pretty on the spicy side, but um, it's yummy, so I don't care. So, you ready to try? Cause I am. Here we go, you guys. This is gonna get messy. But here is our tostada de carne molida with all the other toppings. Let's see how it tastes. It definitely meets my expectations. I'm gonna make two more because why not? And I'm gonna enjoy these and I will link all of the ingredients below and the recipe and um, thank you for tuning in to another episode. I know it's been a few weeks since I've posted any actual food videos, but lots of other things have been going on, lots of exciting um, things that I wanted to show you guys. But here we go. Try it. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time on another episode of A Chronicle Life. But don't forget to click the subscribe button, click the thumbs up, and share this video, guys, with your friends if they like spicy food. Mexican food, whatever kind of food they like, they would probably like this video. So don't forget to share and I'll see you next time. Bye my darlings.